Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're going to break down the new AGV AX8 DS helmet. What does the DS stand for? It stands for Dual Sport. So they've basically taken the dirt helmet from AGV, which is the AX8, and added a face shield to it. Now, right out of the box, we know that this is going to be an AGV helmet. It's a top-end helmet. Price point on this guy is MSRP is $399. So they've basically added another $20 onto the $379 price point for the AX8, which doesn't have a shield on it. This is going to fall right in that same realm of the Shoei Hornet DS and the Arai XD3, which both are going to be a little bit more expensive. I'm going to tell you why I love this helmet. Now, I've had it for a few weeks. I've been riding it. I haven't taken it off-road yet, but I've been riding it, ripping it around here in Philadelphia. Highway speeds in and around town on a couple different bikes with and without a fairing. My favorite part of this helmet is how light it is, and I think that's what really sets it apart from the other helmets that you could get that are going to be in that dual sport range. We threw it on our shipping scale, 1,490 grams. That basically comes out to around 3 pounds, 4.6 or 4.2 ounces. That's going to be a full 10 ounces lighter than the Arai, and right in that same range as the Shoei. So what you're getting here is a very, very lightweight shell that's very strong. Now it's DOT certified, it's also ECE 2205. Notice the aggression and the way that this thing's put together. If you notice, it's the shape. One of the other things that sticks out at me is they've really done this like a dirt helmet. Um, when I had this on, and we, we've shown you what it looks like on a person, the chin sits a little bit lower than your traditional, your, your Shoei or your XD um, from Arai, their uh, dual sport models. So it really sits down like a dirt model, and it sits down on your face. The uh, oval shape of it is going to be a little bit more pronounced than your medium oval. I would say this is, this is between a medium oval and a long oval, so it's a little bit more narrow. It's very much in line with what we consider that AX8 shape. The shell here is going to be made out of carbon fiber, it's fiberglass, and it's also Kevlar. So it's very strong and it's very lightweight. Notice the beak here. It's a non-adjustable beak for those of you guys that ride a GS or something with a high windshield. And depending on the position of your shield or how high it is, you like to be able to adjust this beak. Still, it's, it's non-adjustable beak. The show is not adjustable either. So it kind of falls in that same range where you have a beak, but there's one setting. Notice here on the beak as well, they are plastic bolts. And what that's done for is so that in a crash situation, this guy's gonna break away with a certain degree of force. If these were aluminum bolts, what you'd do is you'd have the potential to have your head pull, and you don't want that. The other thing I noticed about this helmet, from a quiet standpoint, I think it's right in the range of a lot of helmets that have um, this amount of venting and then the other guys that have a beak. I don't think it's, I think it's right in the middle of the pack. I don't think it's really loud. I don't think it's quiet. You know, you know that with a dual sport helmet that's a different shape, you're going to get a certain level of extra noise just because you have more things that are cutting through the air. I like the periphery on it. I thought it was reasonably wide. I thought it was comparable to the other premium dual sport helmets. The thing that really stood out, besides how lightweight this guy is, was the amount of venting. I found it to be really light, but really strong in the, in the amount of airflow I was getting in the helmet. And that's due to six intake vents and six exhaust vents. And I'm gonna take you through that really quickly here. So as I put this guy down you, and you look at the chin, you're gonna have a two-way open and close chin vent system. As I open this guy, if you can come in really tight here, actually I'm gonna close this down to see. We have brow vents that, that vent directly to your forehead. As we move up here, we have a top of the head scoop that's going to channel air into the middle of your head and down the back. And then we have two chimney vents that are actually really easy to use with your gloves on that are on top of each of, uh, you know, basically on the top of your head on the left and right. Now as I flip it around to the back, you can notice diffuser at the top for that Venturi effect. At high speed, you create a vacuum behind the helmet. It sucks that warm air right out of the helmet, right away from your head. But you also have two small vents down here along the back and then on the side. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna channel warm, hot air, humid air from your head away from you on the helmet. So moving into the shield mechanism, you're gonna notice that you have a nice feature here for this dual sport helmet as I turn it. Your peak and your shield are separate. There are some dual sport helmets on the market to where it's the same bolt system, it's the same removable screws. So when you're removing your peak, you have to affect the shield. With this guy, you can pull the peak off. It comes with covers for the screw holes. You can be done with that without affecting your shield at all. There is an adjustable, there's an adjustable shield here. Notice you have four detents. And then you have two connectors that come with this in the instruction manual in the packet that you get with this guy. And you can replace these so it's either open or closed, or you can have a couple strong detents in the middle. It comes stock with the detents on. The other piece about this, it's an anti-fog shield, it's anti-scratch, and it's actually UV, it's anti-UV as well. So you're getting, it's a very protective distortion-free shield that'll shield you from the sun, will last a long time, and it's gonna block fog as well. So now moving from the exterior to the helmet, we're gonna move on the inside. So I'm gonna pull my donut up here. I'm gonna flip this guy first on its side. 
I want to show you, we have a removable chin curtain down here. So for in the colder weather, it's again, guard against the cool. You have this, it Velcros, it has a snap, it comes right off. So there you go, so there's your chin curtain. And you can see the guts of this guy. It's the same high quality guts that are gonna be on the AGV high-end helmets. It's Coolmax, it's wicking, it's antimicrobial. The entire liner is fully removable and washable. Before I do that, I just wanna show you one more feature. Comes with a rubberized breath diffuser that comes up along the nose here. Pull this guy out, it's rubber, it's very comfortable, and you can use it or not use it as your disposal. Now let's move into the shield. Like I said, fully removable, washable guts. Cheek pads aren't rocket science. They follow the same form that most AGV helmets do. You have three snaps and it removes along the side. Cheek pad out and these are replaceable. I have a medium here. One, two, three. Pulls right out. Side's a little harder. It's got the D-ring. It is a basic stock D-ring closure, so it's not a ratchet system. It's what you'd expect to find. And you can see the comfort liner here. You come in really tightly here. I'm going to pull this guy out. It's two snaps along the neck roll and the comfort liner pops right out. Two snaps in the front. So here's my comfort liner. Here's my neck roll. Comes out again. Soak this guy in the sink if you get sweaty. So notice how the ventilation comes directly through the EPS. Some big ports for air. Again, that was one of my standout features on this guy. So as we mentioned, $399. It's definitely a high-end dual sport option. It's going to compete with the other big boys, the other premium brands. Very lightweight, flows a ton of air. And the other thing I noticed is that it's a very aggressive style. This thing looks like I was, I, I got this guy in the mail and I said, wow, it, it reminds me of, you know, I'm a Decepticon, I'm a Transformer here. It's just badass looking. The other thing I noticed is when it's on my head, the chin bar fills a little bit lower. The profile of this guy sits a little bit lower on your face, whereas with the Shoei Hornet or the Arai X-T3, it's a little bit more compact and forward. This guy has a more aggressive downward angle on it. So check it out, revzilla.com slash AGV dash helmets. This is the AX8 DS helmet, extremely lightweight, extremely aggressive, and flows a ton of air. They were my standout features from this guy, and it's a little bit more of an aggressive, closer to a long oval, whereas some of the other guys are more of a medium or neutral oval. So it's going to be over $39.99. It's going to ship for free. If you get the wrong size, I'm a medium in Arai, I'm a medium in Shoei, I'm a medium in Shark, I was a medium in this guy, although it is a very snug fit. If you get the wrong size, send it back to us. We'll ship you the first size exchange for free as well. $400 price point, you're going to earn 20 bucks back in Teamzilla Cash towards your next order. If you have any questions, shoot us a line, 877-792-9455 or cs at revzilla.com. Find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash revzilla or on any of the forums, including ADV Rider. However you're comfortable with, we're happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. Once again, this is the AGV AX8DS Dual Sport Helmet. We'll see you next time.